Hey guys, welcome to the review show. My name is Austin, and uh, this is gonna be a different type of video. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about my trip on my SLT mission trip uh, and to Colorado on in July, uh, the first week of July, something like that. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna be talking about this, and it's gonna be involved like some uh, what's it? What's it like? Oh, it's, it's gonna involve some like uh, like worship stuff and like talking about like Jesus in the Bible so if you guys are not into that stuff you guys or you guys don't believe that in that stuff you guys can go and click off this video and just don't leave anything nasty in the comment section because this it, this is a really a really emotional um, trip because uh, and this trip was easily, uh, easily one of my t uh, favorite times so so please be respectful and and just and if and just click off if you guys are not into that uh, but so yeah so i'm going to be just telling about my trip about uh, just, um, in colorado so it's going to be a lot, it's going to be fun um i have a lot of stuff to tell you uh, i really wanted to do this um soon uh it's it took me a month to do this but you know we're here now Let's get into it. Before we get started, is um, this this will uh, involve some other people's stories, but it won't be directly of their story. It will be from my point of view, and it will have and I won't tell their um, perspective, and because some of these stories is mostly their um, their own stories that they should go on and tell, and. Um, I would pass it on, but I think that would just be rude of me telling their story when they should be telling their own. So, yeah, so if I tell you a story and if you guys wanted to know more about it, uh, I don't know what to tell you because I don't know if they're, they're not YouTubers, so I can't really go and tell you, hey, go follow them here because they talk about here. I like, so anyway, let's get into it. First day of this, of this trip of all, in fact, technically first two days. Nothing on the road, but on the road. We drove there. We drove there in these like vans, these like minivans. It sucked. It honestly sucked because I sat in the back, in the back of this um, van, and um, so uh, uh, so I sat in the back of this van, and it, it was just hot. So and but it was a lot of space back there. So I'm like space. Or AC. I should have gone with AC. <laughs> like that's like like number one logic is always go with AC. And so yeah, but I sat in the back like an idiot. And every time I try to move up, people would get mad. So I honestly I don't want to blame them. So <laughs> I won't I wouldn't want to sit back there anymore either. So anyway, so yeah, that was basically the first trip there. But um, the first night we stayed at this really nice resort. It was amazing, and this was a camp. This was a church camp, and instead of like um, cabins, or they had like hotel rooms. They they built like multiple hotels, and it was like two stories, and there were hotel rooms. It was honestly the nicest resort there was, and there was like really a lot of activities. There was like uh, zip line into a lake, uh, mini golf. A baseball field volleyball like you can name it like there was even a big swing it was it was amazing uh, I wish we could have gone there and like stayed there like for the week but so but it was a really nice resort we uh, and actually we left up then we left the next morning we head uh, and we went to New Mexico did I say that um, uh, but we stayed there in New Mexico and next we went to Colorado so then we're coming, uh, but before we ever got to the place we're staying, we're staying at this church. It's a really nice church. Um, but so, uh, so we uh, so we stopped to like eat and all that, and we uh, passed the time. We went and played mini golf, which was a whole lot of fun, until I lost with. <laughs> um, but you know the funny thing is, is that I had the most hole in ones. And I still lost. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, honestly, I think that's kind of funny. <laughs> um, so I came in last. So it was it was, it was pretty great. I really liked that. That was 
honestly, I, I'm at a loss, but I had a really fun time. So, but yeah, so we got to the place that we were staying, and it was this really nice church. It was like two stories, and it would go. In, it would. It's like partially underground, but because Colorado is like all like tilted, so it would. So the level went uh, went line up. So it was half above ground and half under, which was really cool. And next, so we basically spent the night there for four days, five days, four days, no, no, five days. We stayed there for five days, and so set, so the two days were on the road. The three days we stayed there. So the first day we went and and we worked at this um, construction site with um, ha habitat, like what's. Habitat for homes. Some I, don't, I I okay. Honestly, I did this video before, and it stopped recording. I had no idea. So <laughs> just be with me, cause I'm trying to think of this. Um, Habitats for hum uh, humanity. That's what it is. See, so, yeah, I just gotta ramble. I just gotta ramble on to figure out stuff. Um. So yeah. So yeah. So we worked for Habitats. We volunteered for Habitats for um, hum Humanity, and we worked on these ha uh, two houses. One one house was already done. And we were just like um, fix like adding a couple more stuff to it before they went and like painted it and all that and added um, added a little bit more to it. So and next there was this another house that was actually just starting and we were building the foundation for it, which was really cool. And the first day uh, that um, was cut short, which I, I was actually kind of grateful for because I was just staying there with the stick the whole entire time. And actually would um, and you want to know what that stick does? Is is so the screws are um, so it detects on well not the screws itself but it detects on on what on the plan uh, the planks level so it will tell you if it's um like if it's like if uh, if it's at a good height or it's too high or it's too low so it will tell you to raise it or lower it or leave it so that was basically my job of the day just like okay good. Okay, that one needs to be lowered. Okay, that one needs to be um, risen, and I would just sit off like, oh, you need me? Okay, cool. Cause er cause everyone had a job and they had nothing, nothing for me to do. So I'm just like, good, G good first day. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah. So it, honestly, I still liked it because it's honestly, it's actually kind of hard, uh, harder than you think because you have to be really precise with it or it could mess up the uh, the house's balance so um but yeah so that was basically the first day and next we get so it was so, so we were cut short because it started raining and, and it's like you can still work in the rain right but there was lightning so they had to cut call it off and so well uh so when we got back we, you know it's like Let's go get a shower, and there was like, and there was an order of uh, where you had to go, um, get um, uh, like there was like s certain orders where you can go and get showers, and because we weren't the only church there staying at that church, so there was another crew that was supposed to be before us, but because we got there so early, we decided to take a shower. But I'll come back to that crew later on. Um, so when we, when I was, I, and I was one of the first people to ever step into these showers and, and there were like these sh like shower trucks, I don't know what to call them, like, and like they had showers in there and it, oh my God, the smell in that hits, hits you. It really hits you in the face and you're just like, whoa, <laughs> no, no, it, like it looks clean. But the smell made just all oh, like I ha literally had to hold my breath because you also can't even taste the smell. I don't know how, but I could, I could taste the smell for some reason, and it did not taste good. Um, so I'm like, and I'm sitting in the shower like, and it, but it for it, but it kind of forces you to step up the pace. So which honestly I don't mind. And so I and I had a quick shower, which was nice. It cleaned me up, but I feel like I, I felt like I kind of felt still dirty because of freaking how bad that smell is. But after we walk out, the crew that was supposed to take a shower before us, um, one of the uh, one of the people in that crew shout out, "We're crew one, 
It's like, cool. Like, it, it doesn't really, it, it, it's like, so I, it's because they were getting mad because we were in there. It's like, are, are you serious? Like, we just stepped out. Like, there's no reason to get mad. Like, we're literally walking away from the showers. You still can get in there and take, a, take your shower. And so, if, if, honestly, I would be mad if people were still in there and were supposed to take a shower or first, then I would be mad because it'd be like, really, this is our time. And, but, you know, we were already out and they just arrived. Like, literally, they just arrived from their um, work site, whatever they were doing. And so, there was, there's, there was no reason to shout crew, we're a crew one, but, you know, hey, we made a joke out of it and it, um, by in the mood um, when, when we needed it. So, yeah, so, but yeah. But the people from that crew were actually kind of nice. Um, I don't know anyone else, but, you know, there a couple people over there were really nice good uh, really nice people so um but so yeah the next day we went to this uh store that is owned by habitat uh for uh habitat for humanity humanity um and we would have and we basically spent the day organizing the store like moving stuff moving couches and all that um shelves and all and uh so yeah that that made me uh work my butt off real good yeah um <laughs> that that knocked the wind out of me and but i feel like i okay uh, i felt buff after that day but i might not look but okay but you know what lighting the mood is that i got to break stuff so we took we so we took out whatever people weren't gonna buy and uh, uh, and we destroyed it and like we would destroy it like we would toss it up by um, by the dumpster the dumpster was full so she said we would be able to like tear stuff apart and break stuff but we broke it and stuff anyway because we just threw it because because I, I want to break stuff because breaking stuff is cool and it makes you look manly although I, I look skinny so I don't know why I'm flexing in that video this, this is weird so yeah that was basically the first day and we and we spent at this, uh, when we ate lunch at this picnic, picnic park, which was really nice. Um, and we played, we played games there. And, um, I should have said, uh, I should have said this at the road trip one. And we put on the way up to Colorado, uh, we were playing like riddle, um, road trip games. And I could figure out all the hard riddle games, except for this one easy riddle game. And it's called who has the ball. So, and you, some of you guys might know who, what that is, and um, you're basically trying to figure out something, and I, I honestly, I don't know. If you guys know it, please tell me. At that night, uh, stuff got really emotional, and so I should, I think I said this at the beginning, this video is also gonna get really emotional, because I'm gonna be talking about, and at the, uh, at the beginning I said I'm gonna talk about some people's stories, and um, this is basically the story that I'm basically gonna be telling from my perspective, not from my one of my friends' perspective, because I feel like that's his own story to tell. So anyway, uh, so we were worships, we were worshiping, worshiping, um, and uh, they were talking about like, like, um, and they were talking about some stuff. I couldn't remember what they were talking about exactly, but I know it was a really emotional night, and it will stick with me for the rest of my life because. Um, the next night really got, really got emotional. So, but, so after we were worshiping, we had these small groups every time we worshiped. And, um, but before we went to those small groups, we had a piece of paper and, and we wrote on the piece of paper on how you, how do you, uh, what's like, what's your relationship with God or anything? Or like, how do you want to, um, how do you want to give your time with God in that way? Um, so I wrote down, I, I still wrote down something on there, on, on that piece of paper, but I did not go nail it on a cross. You're supposed to take the piece of paper and go nail it on the cross. I'm like, I, I don't know if I'm ready. So I just put it in my pocket just in case I am ready. And uh, I, don't, I didn't know I was going to be ready as soon as I thought because I'll come and I'll, we'll come back to that later. And so, so throughout this um, group, 
um, group talk, I was just sitting there in the back in silence, just um, listening to my thoughts and like, and I'm just like, and listening to whatever people, whatever people were saying, how they were feeling, and I'm just like, like, cause I had no words, and I'm just, I was just sitting there in silence, and the uh, one of my friends that was sitting in front of me, he starts getting really emotional, and he gets up and leaves, and he, um, and this was like towards the end. And egg, so and we don't see him for, um, and we don't see him until like ten minutes later. And when he comes back in, honestly, I was scared because he was like freaking out when he came back in, and I had no idea what was happening. And until we started talking about what happened, and he, I was just like, calm, I'm like, calm down, because I, because I don't, I couldn't understand what word he was. What, what words he was saying I'm like okay okay so and I see when he starts getting calmed down he told he tells us they find he met the spirit of Jesus Christ and I'm just like sitting there in shock I'm like like that, that like that's just insane and so uh so and next I'm like I'm starting to get like I'm sorry if I'm uh, if I start for uh, like tearing up, but it's um, so, and I start getting really emotional, and I take the piece of paper, and this was after like he starts uh, after he was done talking, and this is after the whole entire group thing. I take the piece of paper that I put in my pocket, and I decide to go and uh, nail it, uh, nail it, and uh, nail it into the cross, and um, so I get I get I nail it in the cross and. Um, so, and I, I kind of start getting a little bit tear up, uh, a little bit tear up, but, uh, but one of my other friends that, um, go and goes and ta takes, uh, and takes me and goes for a walk and we sat in this park and we sat in the parking lot of this church and we just looked up in the stars and he was just telling me how God always has a plan for you and um, there's something always out there for you and you just and you will know it when and he told me you will know when your time it has come and and I'm just sitting there and sometimes I let him talk and I say I say a couple of words and the one that sticks out to me the most that he said is uh, go to your happy place because I was just sitting there and I was a little shake. I was like, sh like shaking a little bit, and and he's like, t and he's like, he's like, you know what? Go to your happy place. Go just go to your happy, like, happy pl place by close and close your eyes and just ignore all sounds and ignore everything and just think of what your happy place is. And and my happy place is is basically. Um, he told me his. I'm not gonna tell you guys his, but. His is basically similar to mine. I have somewhat happy place, similar to his, but my mostly happy place is just the stars because I really believe in aliens. And every time I look up at the stars, it's it's just peaceful to look up to. So, and yeah, so that's basically my happy place. Um, but yeah, so we sat the, out there for probably like a good 30 minutes, like half an hour. It, it was it was a really good um, talk and well he mostly talked it's not a talk it was more of a one way talk um, so but yeah so it was and it made me start to think a lot and so and, and it made me think like I'm glad that I nailed the cross so because it made me felt better and when I actually nailed that cross it felt something wrote like rise down me. It felt like all this heavy weight just came out. Like like there was still a lot of weight on me, but a little bit came out because it felt like I was actually giving something back for I don't know, for some reason. I don't know. It felt like I was giving something. And um cuz before I came on this trip, I thought, you know, this is going to be fun. Let's just do it. Um, I didn't think I was gonna get any emotional out of it, um, but but I did, and that and that's where this next night comes to. But I'm 
might have told the story in a different order than I did. Well, oh well. <laughs> oh well. Um, so if uh, it doesn't really matter, I guess. But so yeah. But we went hike uh, the next day. I, next day, I guess. Um, but we did do hiking, um, which was really cool. Really cool moment. A lot of good views. I'll put a picture up. But if you guys haven't already, I've been put probably been putting pictures of throughout this whole entire video so yeah we we went hiking uh one of our friends actually got hurt he hit, hit like he hit his nose on a rock uh, coming down so but he's okay he's all good um uh so yeah so this next night this this night is really this this came really emotional um it was probably it was emotional for other people but i felt like this really hit me like it really got me um so i'm and so this comes back to the paper thing but it's a new piece of paper and instead of writing what you want to give up to spend time with the god um it tells it like what is your like your placement i guess with god and what i wrote on my piece of paper is uh I wrote on like every I I want to get closer to the God, but every time I take a like, every time I take one step back, it t it feels like I'm taking more steps back than I do than forward. So that's what I put on mine, and, and I'm like, okay, this this is nothing, nothing, nothing really is gonna happen. And uh, they tell us to go outside, and the and there's like these chairs out there, and they have us get a can, and they have us hold a candle. And uh, they have one per and one person at a time sit in a chair and tells what you wrote on that piece of paper. And, and next, after you say whatever you wrote on that piece of paper, we had two, uh, I don't know if other people did, but we had two people um, in our group say uh, say a prayer and like half of a prayer, and it's whatever you wanted to say to uh, make the person's uh, whatever on the person's paper. I guess I don't know. Uh, but so yeah so they so throughout that whole entire time i was la i was like the last person to go and throughout that whole entire thing i was just sitting there with my hand on another person's arm like sh shoulder and i'm just like thinking like i was i was like i don't i don't know what to do and honestly i'm just like Oh, uh, I I started I I started shaking. Honestly, I just like my whole body was just shaking out of control. I'm like, okay, just like look up in the stars. And this was on Fourth of July, so I'm just like looking up in the stars, seeing the fireworks, and I'm just just like and, and just and all like all men, all men. Uh, <laughs> I don't, know, but yeah. So then when I um started to get up there um when i came up i read um i didn't i didn't pull it out but i but i remember what i said and i said exactly what i what can't what i wrote on that piece of paper and um sorry uh, but uh then it started getting really uh emotional for me next um i basically and next a lot of people started volunteering to uh, pray for me and um, probably too many people um, but but I'm thankful f thankful for that they that they did and I'm also thankful for for the people that um, prayed for the others and I, I was I also did pray for someone else uh, I'm not gonna say what I prayed for them because it involved their, their specific thing that they said so that's not my thing to tell them uh, let me tell you guys but so but yeah, so then I I was just and I started crying like no joke and um, so it was a really emotional moment. I had people coming up and um, giving me a hug and telling me that you're on the right track, you're doing something right. Uh, and next. Um, and next, uh, that night, I go on another walk with another friend, and this is the same friend that, um, what that experienced the Jesus Christ um, spirit last uh, the night before, and so he and we just went to the parking lot, 
like like the basically the same exact spot and and he said the same exact words that my other friend that night said and it honestly kind of creeps me out i was like is this a dream like tell tell me this is a dream because it because nothing added up what was happening and it's just like like oh it's just like oh my like I, honestly i had no idea what's happening but and it made me feel a lot better and so and but and so he basically said the same same exact stuff we went to and next later that night we went to bed and all and next we woke up in the morning and next we left to utah so yeah that was a really emotional time for me and i basically didn't say anything through um throughout that morning i was still thinking of that night it's just like uh, like i don't know how because I, I was still taking it in because i had no idea what happened and like and it's just it was just just a shocker to me so and so this next day when we were go, um, leaving to go home we stopped in utah to go water raft this was honestly the best experience it was like the highlight is plus the prayers and all that of the other night was that's the top one but this is the second because honestly i never went raw water rafting before because i have a big fear of drowning you will never see me on a boat in the middle of the ocean okay maybe once but for the ones that know what i'm talking about because i went on a trip to Catalina, and that's off the coast of california so i did that but you know what that was a big boat so but <laughs> you would never catch me on a small boat in the middle of the ocean because i and you would never even see me live out there because <laughs> no um but so yeah my one of my biggest fears is drowning and so i was actually kind of a little scared but honestly best moment of my life and i was like the captain and i was like shouting out row one row two like and it, and, and it was just, it was just a lot of fun if you guys haven't water raft yet go try it out it was it's really cool um so yeah next uh we stayed at another hotel for the night and next the next day went home there, there's my story. Um, I re honestly, I actually like my telling this time because I had to do this video twice. I actually like this one than my first because the first time I messed up a lot. I still messed up here, but I'll probably edit it out. <laughs> yep, so that was basically my story of my mission trip. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys very much for watching. Like always, I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye, guys.